Today we're going to explore a story that's as much about the stars above us as it is about the stars among us. It's a tale that intertwines the glittering allure of celebrity with the vast, uncharted expanse of space. Today we are going to be exploring what if Teresa Judice exploded in the Challenger disaster? The year is 1986. The world stands divided. The Cold War at its height. Amidst the global tension, the United States seeks to reaffirm its technological and cultural dominance through the spectacle of space exploration. Enter Teresa Judice, a figure not of this time, but of our own. Now reimagined as a symbol of American bravado and ambition in the alternate 1980s. Known for her commanding presence on the Real Housewives of New Jersey, Teresa is chosen by NASA to be a part of the Challenger mission, a decision that stirs the nation. In the imagined timeline, Teresa's participation in the Challenger mission is more than a mere publicity stunt, it's a bold statement. It's NASA's attempt to bridge the gap between the stars and the American public to humanize the face of space exploration. Teresa, with her unapologetic charisma, becomes the embodiment of this era's larger-than-life ethos. What does this mean for the Real Housewives of New Jersey? In the lead-up to Teresa's monumental mission, the dynamics of the Real Housewives of New Jersey take on a new gravity. The show, a microcosm of personal alliances and rivalries, mirrors the larger geopolitical landscape of the 1980s. At the heart of this is a complicated relationship between Teresa, her sister-in-law Melissa Gorga, and her brother Joe Gorga. Imagine the Cold War not just as a backdrop of global tension, but as a metaphor for the intricate dance between Teresa and Melissa. Their relationship, fraught with misunderstandings and reconciliations, echoes the delicate balance of power that defined the era. Each interaction as a chess move, a play of strategy and emotion, reminiscent of the political maneuvers between superpowers. Joe Gorga, caught in the middle, becomes a symbol of the divided loyalties that many nations faced during the Cold War. His attempts to mediate between Teresa and Melissa reflect the efforts of nations trying to navigate the treacherous waters of international diplomacy. His role is akin to that of a diplomat striving for harmony in a world brimming with conflict. As Teresa prepares for her mission, the show delves into the themes of ambition and sacrifice. The space race of the 1980s, a pursuit of celestial dominance, finds a parallel in Teresa's own journey. Her ambition to reach the stars is a poignant reminder of the era's relentless pursuit of progress regardless of the personal cost. The season leading up to the Challenger launch becomes a narrative tapestry weaving together the personal dramas of the housewives with the epoch-defining events of the 1980s. It's a season that captures the essence of an era, a time when the quest for the stars was as much about national pride as it was about personal triumph. As the season progresses, the narrative crescendos to the day of the Challenger launch. Teresa Judice, now a figure of national interest, steps into a role reminiscent of Krista McAuliffe, the teacher and astronaut who captured the heart of America in our own timeline. Yet, in this alternate reality, Teresa's journey is uniquely her own. She is not just an astronaut, she is a reality TV star turned national icon. A woman whose every move has been followed by millions. A testament to the power of celebrity in shaping public consciousness. T-minus 15 seconds. The countdown begins, and with each passing second, the tension mounts. Seven, six, we have main engine start. Four, three, this is more two, than a space one, mission. It's a moment where the boundaries between entertainment, science, and national identity blur. The viewers who once tuned in to witness the highs and lows of Teresa's life in New Jersey are now watching with bated breath as she embarks on a journey beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Challenger now heading downrange. 
As the challenger ascends, it carries with it hopes and dreams of a nation, aspirations of a people reaching for the stars. But in a tragic twist, just 73 seconds into the flight, the challenger is engulfed in flames. A minute 15 seconds, velocity 2,900 feet per second, altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. This moment, a harrowing pivot from triumph to tragedy, marks a profound shift not only in the space program but also in the narrative of the Real Housewives of New Jersey. In the wake of the challenges, the disaster the nation saw was palpable, and for the viewers of the Real Housewives of New Jersey, the tragedy ushers in a maelstrom of reactions. Teresa, once merely a character in a reality show, is now woven into the narrative of profound historical significance. This event, however, doesn't lead to a uniform outpouring of grief, no. Instead, it unravels a spectrum of responses, each as intricate and varied as the threads of human emotion itself. For some within the Real Housewives of New Jersey fan base, Teresa ascends to the status of martyr. Her tragic end casting her as a symbol of human aspiration and vulnerability. To these viewers, her journey represents the ultimate sacrifice, a narrative of heroism that transcends the confines of reality TV. Conversely, others view Teresa through a lens of blame, casting her as a villain in the story of the Challenger. In this narrative, she is no longer a mere participant in a tragic event, but a central figure. Yet for others still, Teresa's story becomes something else entirely. A storyline. The show, once a playground for escapism and entertainment, becomes a mirror reflecting the darker aspects of our collective psyche. The blame placed on Teresa, irrational as it may be, is a testament to the depth of her impact on the cultural landscape. The public's mourning of Teresa becomes intertwined with growing outrage against the Reagan administration. Accusations mount that the government had recklessly ushered the launch to coincide with the State of Union address, prioritizing political spectacle over safety, costing precious lives. This controversy significantly taints Reagan's legacy and undermines public trust in his administration. As the 1988 elections approach, the shadow of the Challenger's disaster looms large. The scandal's impact is profound and far-reaching, affecting the political landscape in ways previously unimaginable. George Bush, Reagan's vice president and the presumptive heir to the presidency, finds his campaign irrevocably damaged by the association with Reagan's tarnished legacy. In a stunning turn of events, Michael Dukakis, capitalizing on the public's disillusionment with the Republican administration, secures a decisive victory in the presidential election. Dukakis's presidency marks a dramatic shift in the U.S. foreign and domestic policy. The approach towards the Soviet Union, characterized by increased diplomacy and collaboration, starkly contrasts with the confrontational stance of his predecessors. Under Dukakis' his leadership, the Cold War enters a phase of thawing. As the years pass, the world witnesses a different unfolding of events. The Berlin Wall remains standing, symbolizing a Cold War that never truly ends. The Soviet Union, bolstered by a more cautious and cooperative U.S. foreign policy, manages to stave off its internal crises and continues to exist into this present day. The ongoing Cold War scenario leads to a very different global dynamic with continued political tensions and an ever-present threat of nuclear standoff. Back in the United States, the legacy of Teresa Judice takes on mythical proportions. She's remembered not just as a reality star or a participant in a tragic space mission, Teresa's story and the Challenger's disaster at large become a cautionary tale about the interplay of fame, politics, and the consequences of ambition. 
As our exploration comes to a close, we are left to ponder the intricate web of history, the delicate balance of fate, and the profound impact that one life, whether real or imagined, can have on the course of human events.